Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680. Or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. What I'm going to talk about is the painting of the Amarillo 1A motor and how to do it properly. And the, the right way is to get some man brothers man brushed brass brass bronze, bronze powder okay. and the smallest can of deaf lacquer in the can that's liquid like that okay. and I'm going to show you originally the mo the drive gear was painted this goldy bronze color that I've kind of cleaned off a little and the stuff I use becomes very quickly the same color. Really what the color they used was, it was used on music boxes. And when I used to restore music boxes, this was the stuff I used to paint the bed plates with. And you need a spoon, a wooden stir stick, cheap brush, and a screwdriver. So let me walk around my angel and I will start this operation. So what you're going to do So you take your wife's kitchen you take spoon. A, you, take, you take your wife's kitchen spoon and wants to know, are you going to destroy that one too, honey? No. But not one of her pans. Okay, good if yeah, I, did, use a... I didn't use one of her. I did fill up the bowl to clean your brush with one of the bowls and lacquer, but that, that's good. What you're going to do, I'm just going to pour a little in here. And that's enough, probably way more than enough. And you're going to take this, it doesn't take much, and stir this in, mix it up. You're going to take a brush, and voila, it's gold. And when it dries, because it's a lacquer, it's going to look just like the motor did when it originally came from the factory. And the lacquer holds up very well against oil, grease, grease cat hairs and you just brush this on there we go getting the gold there we go that hole I just passed is where they used to oil them and you'll see Edison phonographs with holes in the barrel well that's because they filled them full of graphite and you wind the phonograph up and you would rinse that out with bezanine for the barrel, and then you would let it dry, and then you would add more graphite to your phonograph. And this is how it's gonna come out. It's gonna look very nice. You know, this is a lot of fun. I wanted to point out how to do this, and that's my tip for the day, and now I'm gonna finish up.